indie dev hired by Nintendo quits to become an indie dev. We have a Microsoft exclusive potentially heading to the Nintendo Switch. And we have a thought on Twitch that got banned for being a thought. Let's talk about it. What's going on everyone? Alex Prime here and today we got three things to talk about. First one is the Downwell creator, this is an indie game, Ojiro Fumoto, who last year in 2018 was picked up by Nintendo to work for the team. Now you would think this is a young guy, uh, he's getting started in gaming, Downfall was his real uh, claim to fame and Nintendo picked him up. You think that would be the dream job? Bam, I got hired by Nintendo, I'm set for life. Well, apparently, that's not how it is, because uh, Mr. Jiro tweeted this yesterday, I was working at Nintendo for most of 2018, but I quit at the end of the year to pursue being an indie dev again. Working there was an incredible experience, but ultimately I found my passion to simply be making a thing I want to make. So yeah, I'll get there, I'll get working on that this year. So, I guess he just didn't want to, whatever Nintendo had him doing, I guess he just wasn't uh, enjoying it too much because he wants to make his own games, and that's totally cool, you gotta follow your passion, if he wasn't happy, he wasn't happy. I'm sure, like he was saying, he learned a lot from Nintendo, of course he would, Nintendo is one of, if not the best publisher in the world, so working for them is a huge experience, and uh, that will only make his indie games in the future better. So good on you, Mr. Ojiro, I can't wait to see what you make. Now, this next bit of news, pretty interesting. Microsoft and Playful Corp Super Lucky's Tale could be heading to the Nintendo Switch, which is pretty crazy. They did tweet about this uh, a couple months ago, I believe, that they would actually like to put their game on the Nintendo Switch, but everyone kind of just was just like, eh, whatever, they're just saying that to be nice. But it seems that may not be the case. Because there's been some information found on LinkedIn, it says here, Concept artist Taylor Smith made mention of Nintendo's console and resumes. In a couple of CVs, it stated that Smith worked on environment assets for the upcoming Nintendo Switch ports. Gearbox software outsource manager Jesse Sosa, who was at Playful until the end of 2017, also says he, sw uh, he shipped Super Lucky's Tale on Switch as a part of his LinkedIn profile though it has obviously yet to be released or officially announced. So pretty interesting, Super Lucky's Tale could be heading to the Nintendo Switch and if this LinkedIn information is true, uh, it, that does seem like a high possibility. Now that's pretty good because I think this game would find more of an audience on the Nintendo Switch as we know platformers and this kind of cartoony colorful game would do a lot better on Nintendo than it would on Xbox. Uh, so that's a good thing to see. I've played a little bit of Super Lucky's Tale. It's a little too easy for me, a little too basic. Uh, but I think a lot of people on the Nintendo audience would enjoy this game. And it would fit right alongside all the other platformers that we have. And this is a 3D platformer, which is nice. Because most of the platformers we have are 2D. So if you're looking for a 3D platformer, uh, here is an option for you. Now, the last bit of news. We got a thought. We got a thought. What is her name? Lily. Uh, let me see. I forgot her name. Lily Stella Rosa. That's her name. Lily Stella Rosa thought it would be a good idea to be a thought on Twitch. And uh, she got banned for it. So we'll watch the video together here. Um, I hope this video doesn't get taken down. We'll find out. Uh, <laughs> but here you go. Uh, let's watch this together. Twitch, uh, the video is labeled Twitch Streamer Twerks and Gets a Ban. Alright. Do side splits? What side splits? So she's basically asked like to do the splits uh, by I someone in her cut. audience. And she does that. That's she does a side split. Nice. But then she takes it a step too far and starts twerking right here. And uh, yeah, she's got a nice ass. What else can you say? But 
You notice here she immediately realizes what she's done as she says she's going to get banned for this. And then she sees the replay of what she just did and she knows she's getting banned for this. And she even like begs her uh, her followers not to report the video. And um, yeah, she's laughing about it the whole time. I guess she knew she got she fucked herself over at that point. Um, should she get banned? Yeah, obviously she broke the rules. Like twerking is against the rules of Twitch. It's sexually uh, suggestive, and they can't do that. So if you want to be a thought, go be a cam girl or go be a porn star. Twitch is for video games. So yeah, she should be banned. She went on Twitter and um, uh, she posted the reasoning from Twitch. It says reason. Sharing or engaging in sexual suggestive or content or activities and then she wrote fuck under that and uh, She also let her fans know exactly what part of her stream was deemed to be sexually suggestive content and she wrote I shook my booty uh, So she's fully aware of what she did and uh, yeah, she got banned for being a thought and it's pretty funny Will she come back? Maybe. Maybe they'll unlift her ban. Hopefully uh, Maybe they, they should cuz uh, she seems like she was just like I don't, know, I don't think she had bad intentions but uh, she did break the rules so we'll see how that goes out but a thought's gonna thought and a thought got banned it is what it is let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below we got downwell creator leaving nintendo becoming an indie dev yet again microsoft's exclusive no longer exclusive as it's coming to the nintendo switch potentially and a thought twerking on twitch thought twerking on twitch it's terminated. Oh, there we go. We got four T's in that bitch. All right, make sure to hit that like button, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. This is Alex Prime. I hope you had a great time. Happy New Year 2019, baby. Let's go.